Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to create a scroll view in Xcode 11. Uh, this is a tester project which I already created. So we have a scroll view and we have two views, one at the top and one at the bottom. So let's get started. Let's open our Xcode and we will say create a new project and this will be a single view application. So hit next and product name will be, let's say, testing scroll view uh, make sure you add testing in the front uh, because if you just put like scroll view or something it might clash with uh, xcode libraries and stuff so just testing or whatever you like put some adjective there hit next uh, and i will save it in recording and create so now i'll go full screen and Let's make sure this is iPhone 11 and I'll just run it so that we don't waste time uh, once we are done with the project. Let's hop over to main.storyboard. So all the action will take place in the uh, in main.storyboard and let's stop this. So we are here and uh, my current view controller is viewed as iPhone 11. So first of all, I'll go here and drag and drop a scroll view from object library and put it here. And this, I will put it from, let's say, let's do it from the, like on top, uh, let's just uh, leave the status bar there. So, and on the left, and this will go all the way to the right and drag to the bottom. And let's give it some constraints. So this will be uh, zero from top, zero from left, zero from right, and zero from bottom and hit enter. Uh, you will get this uh, red lines. So what you can do is like uh, click on the scroll view and you can go to size inspector and here make sure you uncheck content layout guides and it will become blue. <laughs> That's as easy as it is. So now next thing we will do is we will go ahead and drag and drop a view like a normal view. So this will be view here and let's change the color from attribute inspector to something like this is system indigo. So if you want to like, yeah, use system indigo, looks good. And drag and drop, okay, uh, missed that. So same thing, drag and drop until the end. Uh, so this will be zero from top, zero from left, zero from right, zero from bottom. And one more thing we will do here is uh, we will constrain height and this time, let's say, uh, I'll do 1200, but it depends on your content size. So. Uh, add five constraints. So you will get like bunch of red lines here. What you can do is let's, for, uh, so this is our content view. So let me rename it to content view. So this will be content view. And so from content view, you can like control drag to the view. So make sure you don't do scroll view, you control drag to the view and you will say equal widths. And uh, we got rid of the red stuff. And uh, next thing you can, uh, next thing you need to do is uh, make sure you click here, like outside, and then click on the view controller. And you can go to size inspector again. And instead of simulated size being fixed, we will change it to freeform and change our height to, let me show you 1300 first. So if you remember, my constraint was 1200. So if I do 1300, I will get some white space here. Uh, not good, not good at all. So. I'll do 1200 and so that I get exact view controller as my scroll height. And next thing I'll do is drag and drop some views so that I can show that it works. So first view, this will be of system yellow or something. So I think this is system yellow color and let's give it some constraints. So this will be, let's say eight from the top and from left, let's make it uh, 20 and right make it 20 and let's uh, fix the height to 150 and 150 and add for constraints next thing uh, we need to do is like i'll just duplicate this view so click on the view and hit command d so it will duplicate it here and i can remove the constraints from the another view which we duplicated because we don't need the top margin so i'll click on the duplicated view and go over here and i'll say clear constraints. So next thing I'll do is drag and drop at the bottom and 
let's give the bottom view some constraints too so leave the top so left from uh, 20 from the left 20 from the right and 80 from the bottom and height will be fixed to 150 add four constraints so we are done with the storyboard part so let's go ahead and test our application uh, let's run the app and hop over to the simulator so this is what we created guys and you can see scroll view works once again this is a static scroll view uh, in future i will come up with a dynamic scroll view so stay tuned if you have any questions you can post them in the comments and if you want me to make some uh, another video or some you have some doubt once again post it in the comments if you like my video make sure to hit like and subscribe for future contents until next time.